Hello guys and gals, it's your boy Bowser here, with a quick DDLC modding tutorial for how to change the outline of the name in the text box as well as the color of the text box itself. The whole process is relatively easy, just make sure you follow all the steps that I showed in the video. So anyway, you're going to go to your definitions file right here, definitions.rpy, and you're going to go down to where you have all your characters defined for when the name displays on the screen when it's their turn to speak. As you can see, I have plenty of characters here from all of the projects that I've done in the past. A few are still in development, but anyway, um, we're just going to go to Kiyomi here as an example. So, usually these character definitions end at this fixed this, this statement right here, um, but we're going to go further than that. So after that fixed area, all this text right here that I'm highlighting right now, this is to change the color of the outline of the name, the text box. And what these two strings right here are, they are hex numbers for the color that you're going to pick. So if you just head on if you just head on to Google and just search hex color picker right here, um, you're going to get like a color picker right here. You can choose any color you want, no matter how bright or dark it is. It doesn't matter. You can just pick whatever color you want, blah, 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 blah. Anyway, and then your hex number is going to be down right here and this is the hex that you'll use like for this color right here this is the hex number for this color and you can see it changes as i move and change the color right here it's gonna change like that so anyway we're just gonna pick a random color we'll just we'll just choose this light blue color right here so you're gonna copy the, te the hex right here Go back to your definitions and paste them in both of these places right here. You have to put it in both these places. So that's it for changing the name, the, the outline of the name of the text box. But changing the actual text box color itself is a little more complicated than that. Don't worry, I'm going to take you through that process too. So. What you're going to do next is you're going to open your image editing software, whether that be Photoshop or Paint.net, doesn't matter. I have Paint.net because it's free, <laughs> but yeah. And then you're going to open the text box file, which is textbox.png right here. Um, you can. You can extract the original game files if you have DDLC installed. And then I just created a folder here called DDLC original sprites and I extracted all the files here and then it's under GUI and then it's textbox.png. So you're gonna open that with your image editing software. So you get this image right here. <coughs> Excuse me. And then you're going to make it black and white like this and then you're going to make a layer and for your hex you can just for the color that you want you can just copy and paste it right here at least on paint.net i'm not sure if this is something that photoshop has or any other image editing software but at least for paint.net has this feature so you can paste your hex right here and it has this exact blue color right here and then you're going to get your paint bucket and on your second layer you're going to color the entire uh, layer of that color and then we're going to go to the layer settings right here or layer properties excuse me and the blend mode we're going to change from normal to overlay right here. I'm going to say OK. Yeah. And then usually these colors are too bright for me. So 
what I usually do is I add another layer and I just color that layer black and then you have to do the same process for changing the button mode to overlay instead of normal and now you can see the text box is a little bit more defined right here like when I originally had um, the blue right there right here I could kind of barely see the text box dots but if you just if you just need to make your color a little bit darker like especially if you're like if you want to use like dark red or any darker colors you have to put the light color in and then you have to put a black uh, layer in so just to get um, darker colors anyway then you're gonna merge all those layers together like I just did there with that button right there it's grayed out because I already did it but we're not done yet so then you're gonna get your magic wand here and you're gonna get all the corners Let me zoom in a little further you're gonna get all your corners like that and you're gonna hit your delete key because the original text box doesn't have corners right here the border sort of ends right here and um, you may want to use your eraser to erase some of these colors right here just to just to make just to clean it up a little bit so it looks better but I'm not gonna bother with that you can do that on your own but once you've done that you've sort of fine-tuned it tuned it and everything you're gonna go back to your properties and this will be the only layer that you have at the moment and you're gonna ch and then you're gonna change your opacity to a lower setting so I usually tone this down to 225 but you can have it at another setting like a little bit higher or a little bit lower but I usually do it at 225 um, it works for me and the reason why I do this is because the original text box file um, is a little bit less transparent so if we go back here it's now it's completely full like it's completely transparent right here so just just to like sort of this is just another cleaning up step right here and then you just go to um, and then you save it and whatever but um, I'm not gonna do that since all I since I already have a few of those text boxed already saved all right so anyway I'm gonna go to my mod assets right here and this is usually where you save all your stuff for when you're modding stuff like sound effects music other sprites backgrounds whatever you, you you store that all in mod assets and usually I put my text boxes and this folder that I created here called GUI so I double click here and then we'll just open one of these here and it's a this is the text box that I use for Yuri and these are all different colors that I have right here oops So yeah, you just save it wherever you're going to know where it is, and then you're going to type this last bit of text right here. What the heck? My computer's being a little weird, but um, yeah. Then you type this little last bit of text right here, window background equals image, and then this is where um, your text box will be and then X align equals 0 0.5 Y line equals 1.0 so yeah this is so yeah this is just the path of where your text box will be 
And whenever your character will speak, it will use that text box and it should change the color of their name. I hope this tutorial helps and I'll see you later.